sound of chainsaws. Cutting through the chill and the dampness in the foothills high above Colfax today. That's where we found Cal Fire and Conservation Corps crews hard at work removing dead trees and vegetation to help prevent wildfires. A lot of people might be surprised you're doing all this in the rain. Yep, it's a work day. <laughs> so we do it rain, snow, hail, whatever it is, we're, we're still out here working. Cal Fire has identified 35 priority hotspots across the state, including this one, a fuel break at the North Fork of the American River, a 38-mile stretch that extends from Auburn all the way east up to Blue Canyon. It's a direct result of an executive order signed by Governor Gavin Newsom to fast-track the removal of millions of dead and dying trees the streamlined environmental rules and regulations. We were anticipating maybe another 10 years for this to, to reach completion or even near completion. Now we're looking at, thanks to the governor uh, fast-tracking it, more like two years for this project to be complete, and that can save lives. Saving lives by preventing deadly blazes like the campfire that destroyed the town of Paradise and killed more than 80 people in Butte County. But this is very sad to see it. President Trump saw the damage for himself last November, and he has criticized California for poor forest management. And now California is committing $240 million this year alone to reduce the risk of wildfires. And that's just the start. That's going to be the first year of an estimated $1 billion over five years uh, that is being earmarked for these types of, of projects. The money will also be used to replace the old Vietnam-era helicopters and to purchase new fixed-wing aircraft from the federal government.